Hi guys, it's Kim, and I just had an idea to do this video. Uh, somebody in my group had brought up something, and I was like, oh, I should do a video about that. So I'm going to do a quick video about, um, the, it's kind of like crystal grid hacks, like really simple ways to um, have a crystal grid in your space. Perhaps you don't have a whole lot of space, you know. Um, you might not have a whole room dedicated to crystals or, you know, even an area, even like a desk or a table. You might not have that space in order to have a crystal grid set up. So a lot of us find that to be, you know, a bit of a challenge. So I just wanted to give you um, some ideas, some little, you know, hacks that I've come across along the way. So first off, let's just start, I have my stuff down here. Let's just start off with mirrors. So you can get little mirrors, a dollar or something like that um, at the dollar store. You can get bigger ones depending. Now a mirror is great because you can set up your crystals. You can have a really small little crystal grid on a mirror and the mirror is actually going to amplify the energy. All right, so a little mirror somewhere um, in the corner on your desk or on your um, nightstand or wherever you want to set up your grid. A little mirror is going to help to amplify it so you don't have to set up a ginormous grid. All right, also be very careful though whenever you're doing something with mirrors because you don't want to have the quartz near the sunlight coming in, possible fire issues, so be careful with that. So mirrors, mirrors amplify the energy. Of course, quartz also amplifies the energy. So you can have a really small grid with lots of quartz in it. You can have quartz points, you can have little teeny quartz chips. You know, it doesn't have to be ginormous, but quartz is also gonna amplify the energy. So if you have a small grid, you're gonna pack a powerful punch. All right, so I actually just created these. I thought they're so cute, these little grid kits. Again, it doesn't have to be really big. So this is my little, I'm going to show you this little chakra grid kit, just to give you an idea that you don't need something huge. A little selenite um, skyscraper for the center, and just some tumblies, one for each chakra, and I'm not, you know, let's see, carnelian, um, what I have here, red tiger eye, and sodalite. Let's see what else I have in my little bag here. Um, a little quartz point for activation, and amethyst, and tiger eye, and green aventurine, and the kit also comes with a little color changing battery operated, I don't know how it's showing up, battery operated tea light. And it's so small that you can actually make your grid on this pouch. So do you see what I'm saying? You don't have to have a big space and something like this you can kind of carry around with you and set up your grid wherever you go. So even if you go like on vacation or something, you can take your little crystal grid with you and set it up, you know, in the corner in the bathroom or something like that. All right. So have a little crystal grid to go. Um, another thing you can do, um, this is one of my all-time favorite things to do in terms of grids, is get yourself a tray. You don't have to get an expensive tray. Dollar Store probably has them too. Um, but a tray is great because you can set up your crystal grid and move it around. So let's say you have your, your crystal grid set up and you have company coming over. This happens to me. And I don't want people to see that I have this grid set up. You know, sometimes you just want to kind of keep this thing to yourself, depending on who's coming to visit. Um, so you can take your tray and just move it, you know, move it wherever you want. You know, put it under something, up high, wherever. You can hide it in the closet. Now, you probably will have to reactivate your grid, but it is a great way to make it portable. Another thing that I like to do is, and I can't show you because I have the camera set up on it, but um, I have a three-layer tier table on wheels and you can get something like that you can set up a grid you know on the table and uh, I'll try to insert a picture to show you so this way you can also move it around or you can set up more than one grid or you could just use one layer just for the grid and it's a really great way to have your grid. And what's great about a table like that, like a three layer kind of thing, you can have your salt lamp um, or whatever, you know, if you want to just set up like a little area with, you know, angel paraphernalia or fairies or 
a Buddha statue or whatever you like. You could set that up and then you can have a grid underneath it. Or if you don't want anybody to see it, maybe you, you don't want people to see that you have the grids, you can put a tablecloth over it and have the grid underneath. And so it's kind of, you know, kind of hidden, but not completely hidden. It depends on what you're trying to do. And I'm not saying to hide your spirituality or hide your crystal passion or whatever, but some people are uncomfortable with it and don't want to have that, you know, that, that conversation with, with people. They'd just rather not. And that's okay. I respect however you want to do it either way. But I'm just giving you some tips on things you can do um, in your space. And I absolutely love setting up a grid on my three-layer um my cart because I can move it around. Um, I need to move around. I need to be very spontaneous. I'm not very good when I set something up in one place. It makes me feel kind of like stuck there. So I like portable grids. It's just something I really like to do. So I like the the, t the cart and I love the idea of doing it on the tray. Um, another thing you can do is you can put your crystal grids in a drawer. You can. Now you have to understand when you open the drawer, things are going to move around and you're going to have to reactivate it. But again, if you have limited space, you could dedicate one drawer for your crystal grid. All right. Um, you might even be able to position it with things so that it doesn't move around so much. Another thing that I, I used to do, I don't do anymore because I use it for something else, but um, on my desk, and I don't know if I can show you. Here's my desk that I turned into an altar, and it has the built-in keyboard draw, and this is a great place to have a grid. I don't make my grids here anymore because I actually have other crystals I keep here, but I just wanted to show you how you could do that. And then you could just close it and still have your desktop or your tabletop area. And when you pull it, things might move, so you got to be careful with that. Um, but I still love doing that. The, also, another thing about that though is you have to keep everything really small so you're not going to have like a big quartz point in the center or anything. But you have to be very creative. So draw a space, pull out draws, anything like that. Um, actually, on my nightstand, there's a pull out draw too. So sometimes I'll put a little grid on there too. Another option is to put your crystal grids under things like under your couch or under a chair or under a table or under your bed all right thing you have to be careful whenever you're doing anything like this especially though is with you know if you have small children or you have pets that might go and try to you know eat your beautiful tumblies that look like candies you got to be really careful with that so i you know give that suggestion but use your own you know you have to be your own discretion on that as to whether it's safe in your house to actually have grids on the floor. Um, but if it is safe in your house, in your space, yeah, you can. You could put it under your bed. You could put it on the tray and just slide it under your bed, which is just an easy thing to do. And if you don't have a tray, that's okay, too. Cut out a piece of cardboard from a cardboard box, set it up on there, and put it underneath your bed or under a table or under something like that. Um, sometimes you have, like, benches. Um, I have a bench over here and I can put, I can set my grid up in a box and then kind of move it underneath the bench. So if you have a little box like here, this isn't a pretty box, but um, you can set your grid up inside a box. You know what, even if you had a box top, you can decorate it with something and then you could just kind of slide it under your bed or under a couch or under a table or something like that. This way you can easily pull it out. The thing about putting your grids underneath something, though, too, is that you, you don't want to forget that they're there. So make sure you remember they're there because you don't want to just leave it there forever and ever. It does need to be reactivated and it does need to have some kind of interaction. All right, so be careful with that. But it is a good idea. You know, it is an option for when you have limited space. Another option is to put your grids up high. So if you have a hutch or cabinets or shelving, something like that, you can put your grids up high. You might even be able to get a shelf that has pretty, you know, wide, wide enough so you can set a grid up there, which would be a great idea if you have pets or children and you want to keep it up high and out of the way. You can do that too. Again, they don't have to be ginormous grids. They can be small. Um, so that's just another option, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let me see, I had a couple other ideas I wanted to share. Um, you can also put your grids inside something like... How about a small grid inside a flower pot? 
little grid I have in a basket on my fireplace. It's a small grid, it's a love grid, and you can just incorporate this into your decor in your home. Or uh, hutch, like I think I said that, like if you have a nice cabinet or a nice display, you know, where you put your china, you know, glass, or something like that, you could put your, your, um, your grid in there too. And I think that's about it. Oh, one other idea that I had is you can create grids in art too. So if you wanted to, um, I know people don't like to do that, but if you wanted to glue them onto something or put them inside a frame, so you can take some of your tumbled pieces or even some small rough pieces and, and if you even have beads, you can kind of configure something out and put it in into an artwork and actually hang it on your wall. So you can make grids like that. Um, or even in a dream catcher. So if you make dream catchers, you can or have them custom made, you can actually have some kind of crystal grid made out of beads on the dream catcher. So you see what I'm saying? You can turn it into some kind of art or display as well. So these are just some creative ways that you can have your crystal grids out in your environment or hidden away depending on what it is you want to do. No matter how big your space is, it doesn't have to be big. You can make small grids and amplify them in other ways. So I just wanted to share that with you. I'll put the link below on how to make a crystal grid and some different grids that I've made uh, that I have videos of. So if you have any comments or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in and as always, have a blessed day. Bye.